Hey, it's Clayton. And Brett. And we are here for a special issue. <laughs> okay, do it again. Ready? Yep. It's Clayton. <laughs> here we go. It's Clayton. And Brett. And we are here for a special episode of Ask Cell Dweller versus Ask Blue Stolly. So you may be asking, why is Ask Cell Dweller versing Ask Blue Stolly? I'll tell you why. Because we're on Twitch, and that's what people do on Twitch. They fight. Well, maybe not. They fight all kinds of things. But we did fight some ninjas this past week in our first ever Twitch live Q&A and live stream where we were bad dudes fighting dragon ninjas. And we said, let's involve that Q&A into this special episode of Ask Cell Dweller versus Ask Blue Stolly. So we're gonna do a super cut of all the cool questions you guys asked and even some you didn't, as well as maybe a little gaming stuff and some other cool things. So for those of you out there who can't get enough of our music, and there are some, and we're glad for that. We're very thankful. For My you. God, yes. We now are able to tell you that you can stream it live for free, 24/7, on the Fixed Twitch channel. So, twitch.tv backslash fixed, and you got 24/7. Cell Dweller, Blue Stolly, Scandroid, Seamless, Voicians, and other stuff up and coming. All fixed artists. If you guys could live anywhere else in the universe, where would it be? How did I just do that spin? I don't care about existentialism, I just want to know Life Schmeich. what's going on with this spin kick. What's, what's the question again? Say it again, I was too big. I was, I was too sidetracked by the spin. The question was, how did you do that spin kick? I think the answer is finding out where else you would want to be in the universe. I mean, if I, I pick 10 places right now, but would I be able to sustain life or would I get instantly um, uh, evaporated and disintegrated kind of heat. That's got to be a loss. I, I would love to go to the Helix Nebula. I'd love to go to uh, the Cat's Paw Nebula. I'd love to. I'd love to take a trip to Enceladus or Europa. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want to walk on the sun if you could do it, right? You'd be the first sure. person. You think how fake you? You know how many freaking uh, likes you get on Facebook? Like oh, if you walk man. in the sun, you'd probably get so many likes. Yeah. And that's what I live for: just likes and hateful comments. I like, know you I do. Love Clayton, so my question is, how do you feel when you receive some cellmate art? What do you think about it? Thanks. Thank you for the great question, Caroline. And I have to say that it's extremely flattering for me seeing art from cellmates, whether it's even of me or something else cell dweller, and I'm sure you could say the same for Blue Stolly. Absolutely, it blows my mind Every single time someone sends in a picture, like regardless of, regardless of the skill level of, of the actual picture, like whether right. it's like the best painting you've ever seen or something that someone scribbled on a napkin right. with, a, with, a, with a raisin, I don't know. It's still, just the fact that someone took the time took to the time, do it yeah. is, that's, ama that's amazing to me. And we're, we're hugely grateful for that. And it's, it's, it's beyond flattering. Thank you. Keep making that art and keep sending it in because we love seeing it. Brad, if you could be any character from Twin Peaks, who would it be? Oh my God. David Lynch. If I, yeah, David I would Lynch. be David Lynch himself. <laughs> if I could be any character at all, well, certainly not Bob because I'm not, I don't have those kind of proclivities. Uh, I pretty heavily identify with Agent Dale Cooper. So it's, it, oh. it has to be. He's a sharp dresser. He's existential. He always gets his man. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, I got killed. How come we don't get any videos of you guys in the recording booth? Recording booth? We don't have any on the recording booth. booths. We don't. Yeah. We don't go. We have programs that were specially made for us that auto-generate songs. So we don't actually write music. <laughs> we hit these auto-generate buttons. They do all the vocals, the guitar riffs, the mixing, uh, the programming, everything. It's done automatically, one shot. We spend the rest of our days killing. Dragon. Yeah, can't you tell by how good at this game we are? That this is all we do. <laughs> Hi Clayton, my name is Dmitry, I'm your friend from Moscow, Russia. When you decide to remix a song, yours or someone else's, how do you come to a decision that this particular song needs to be remixed? And how do you come to a decision how it should be remixed? We both remix songs, and we don't always even pick uh, the songs, or sometimes even the artists that we remix. 
We're asked to do them. We listen to the track and decide, yeah, this is something I'd like to do, so let's do it. How the remix unfolds is just like the way, for me, the way I create music. I just get into it and whatever happens, happens. There's no, I don't think about too much of it before I actually just jump in and do it. What about you, Brett? I hate to be one of those guys who's like, oh, the song just speaks to me, but yeah, I mean, there's there's an element to that. You When you listen to just the isolated vocal of something, you start to hear, oh, well, if, if I were doing this song, I would do blah, blah, blah. It wouldn't be a pop song anymore. It would be, you know, death metal with uh, with accordions and stuff. Not that I'd, I've done that, or not that you've heard yet. Can Duke Duke or Darth Maul? Can, what? Darth Maul, come on. Can, what kind of Dookie or, Do or Darth Maul? Count Dookie, or... Boy. Count Dookie? Yeah. Did you just say Count Dookie? Yeah. What is Count Dookie? Darth Maul. You know, whatever you want to be. He's a badass. Darth Maul. Maul. be Darth Maul, come on. Hi Clayton, this is Kristen from Oklahoma. First and foremost, I just want to let you know that I absolutely adore you. Your music has really helped me through some tough times and I'm just so grateful for that. Do you have any phobias? Thanks Kristen for the question and I can tell you, I'm sure I have a lot of phobias. I just try not to focus on them. Um, but there are a few. Like I don't like sharks because I saw the movie Jaws as a kid. It scared the living crap out of me. Um, I don't want to drown. Look at this, two water-based things in a row. I don't want to drown. I think that would really kind of suck. And picturing a world without any Reese's products just terrifies me. What about you, Brett? Running out of coffee. And you gotta fight a kabuki guy. Oh, Brett, how, how do you take oh, your stop, coffee? Stop, stop, stop. How do I take my coffee? Yep. All the freaking time. <laughs> Come Pizza on, or boss. pasta? <laughs> is, that, is that to both of us? Or Wait, or pizza yeah, or pasta? Uh, yeah, I guess. It know. depends. If it's New York pizza, it's New York pizza. If it's if it's Michigan pizza, <laughs> I'll take anything else. So, uh, uh, oh, who's bad? Are you guys bad I, dudes? I, be I believe we're bad dudes. Oh, yeah. That's Ronald Reagan. Ronald freaking Reagan. Ronald Reagan. He's about to congratulate us on our victory. Oh, it took 27 hours I'm to gonna accomplish. Eat the hell out of that bird. Hey, dudes. There it is. He says, hey, dudes. Hey, dudes. Hey, dudes. Thanks. And we're on the first dude basis. Dude. And tell you what. Wait, wow. can we just point out, look at all the Secret Service people that are there. How did you get kidnapped, and why did you only call two people? Right, two of you? us. Oh, because we were the most buff. You, well, you guys were the baddest dudes. Right. You were the worst. Should we call the army? Like, nah, let's get these guys in tank tops. So then they said, wrecked them, damn near killed them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what are we talking about? So, yeah, we're going to have, uh, like right now, there's a, there's a bunch of emoticons. Well, not a bunch, there's a few. There will be a bunch though, because uh, when, you, when you subscribe, you get, uh, you get some cool extra stuff. Like you type in a little special thing, you get this guy's face showing up doing stuff. You get my face showing up doing stuff. I don't know why you would want that, but some people do. Uh, we don't judge him. If you like that stuff, there'll be a hell of a lot more. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing like special stuff on the channel for the subscribers, for the subscribers yeah. and tell us t what do you want to see like we streamed the game what else do you want to see little performances stuff from the studio us eating lunch i think also there may be some exclusive giveaways for subscribers and we'll do like little contests just for our subscribers and you can win stuff you know i think that what i've heard is that nightbot really doesn't like caps, caps. no caps we had a lot of fun we hope you guys did as always, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Brett's channel, and we want to hear your questions so you can submit them by posting them below in the comments or hitting this fancy little link over here in the middle that my friend Vanna White is showing off very beautifully. Submit your video question to appear in a future Ask Solo. Remember, we are on Twitch, 24-7 streaming music, and maybe we'll be live, maybe even once a week. No promises, we'll see what happens. But you want to subscribe there because we're going to be popping in and doing some cool stuff. And you'll get to watch it. And watch us make complete fools of ourselves. As illustrated. Let's fight. <laughs>